What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we are on the road again. So I am definitely enjoying this fun little road trip journey that we have started finding cards locally. Locally meaning within a few hours. Uh, today we are heading, we're about two hours into our trip we have about an hour and 10 minutes left. We are heading to Harleysville, Pennsylvania to pick up a combo deal. It is an MSI Armor RX 580 eight gig card, as well as a ASRock B450M motherboard. The motherboard's nothing crazy, it doesn't have a CPU in it, but it's something we can use in a future build. I think the motherboard has three PCI slots, so we can put in those AAA Wave one to four PCI splitters, and we can use it for a six or an eight gig rig. Or should I say GPU, not gig? <laughs> Just thought of that. Anyways, guys, um, so we are a few hours from home. We should be in Harleysville, about an hour and 10 minutes at this point right now. Uh, interesting enough, a little details about this deal. The guy originally wanted $450 for this combo of the GPU and the motherboard. I came about and said, hey, I'll offer you 300, just kind of throwing it out there. He let me know uh, that that was a little too low and I said, that's fine. Let me know if things don't work out, my offer will stand. 24, oh, tractor trailer going by. 24 hours later, the guy hits me up and goes, hey, is your offer still good? And I'm like, absolutely. So we are back on the road here. I cannot wait to get this 580 home, get it on our test bench. I wanna get new thermal paste and clean it. And then I'm gonna add this to our 580 rig. This will make GPU number seven in our RX 580 rig. And I cannot wait to max it out at eight GPUs. Well guys, I'll check back in an hour and 10 minutes when we get to our meeting spot. Alrighty guys, we are getting closer uh, to our meetup spot. We're actually not too far from Philadelphia, starting to see a bunch of signs for there. It looks like we're gonna get a little bit towards Philadelphia and then head north uh, up a road called 476. Uh, that being said, we are meeting at the Harleysville Police Station, which is a great recommendation, was uh, made by the seller. I do recommend if you're gonna meet in public places that you meet in places like this. A lot of police stations actually have a parking spot with like multiple cameras on it, and they recommend these types of situations for local meetups for people that are buying and selling items. So I'll check back in a few minutes when we get there. Alrighty guys. Guys, we made it. Uh, we are a few minutes early uh, waiting here. We're at the township building. It's also a police station. We have our cash ready to go, $300 uh, to buy the MSI Armor RX 580 as well as the motherboard. So wish me luck. I'll be back in just a second and show you what we got. Alrighty guys, so let's take a look. Police car, watch out. Uh, so, let's take a look and see what our $300 got us here, shall we? Uh, some goodies in here, a few extra things he threw in, which is always a nice thing about the local buys. So here is our CPU. Uh, this is the MSI Armor. Now this one's interesting. So if we take a look at the back, these I haven't seen as often. Um, I was looking for... There's a sticker, here it is. Couldn't find the sticker. So right here you can see it's the RX 588G, but that's all it really gives us uh, in that regard. Uh, but uh, nice nice buy there. Uh, it's a smaller card, definitely the smallest 580 that I have. Uh, I know a lot of the MSIs, they don't really go crazy on like the shroud or the uh, structure of it. It's kind of plain Jane, simple and easy. Uh, there is additional item here this is kind of what threw me off i'm trying to get some light here can i show you guys that radeon rx 588 gt um, which i wasn't as familiar um, so we'll go ahead and throw up the uh like the new egg listing for this that i did find uh for this card i'm eager to see i mean hey as long as we can do between 30 and 32 mega hash awesome 
So uh, in addition to that, we got some other goodies in here. Uh, he got us a bunch of these larger fans, uh, which is awesome. Uh, these are uh, larger fans that come in here, some Corsair ones. So hey, we'll take it. Um, simple four pin, which is great. He gave us three of these with it. We'll put it to use. You can always have extra fans here. So you got the IO shield that we won't use, SATA cables. Uh, the board does support wireless. So we got the wireless antennas. And then check this out, Cooler Master Cooler. So I don't have to buy one of these. Didn't even realize it was coming with it. This is actually a decent cooler here. Um, and uh, so this will be nice. Dude, this, everything is like immaculate condition. And then here is our motherboard. Uh, so this is the uh, Azerac uh, B450M, and it has two total PCI ports on it, uh, so we can use some of our AAA Wave 1-4 to four PCI splitters, and then on the back here, uh, it has an HDMI port built in, um, and oh yeah, there it is, there's our wireless, so if we wanted to run wireless here, so maybe what we'll do is we'll put a rig in my garage for the winter. Hmm, that'd be kind of cool, because it's got wireless on it, right? Anyways, guys, that is it. Uh, I will see you guys back here in a few minutes, and we'll be at home. But in reality, it's going to take me a few hours to get home. But I want to get this home, and... Uh, oh, we also threw in some thermal paste here. What's this here? TM30, performance thermal paste. I wonder if this is uh, CPU or for GPU. I'll have to look that up. Uh, but anyways, once I get home, regardless, we're gonna blow out and clean out the card, even though it's like in immaculate condition, it's actually hard to believe. Uh, and then I will apply new thermal paste on it. Okay, so look, it's got the little sticker on the bottom uh, for the heatsink, so it hasn't been opened. So it actually hasn't had uh, thermal paste applied to it. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that um, and before we go ahead and start mining on it. I mean, we'll throw it in our test bench first, make sure it works, uh, and then we'll get the thermal paste on it. But I'm excited. Yeah, another 580. All right, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Okay guys, so we made it home. Uh, long, long day on the road, but we are back in action here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take everything out. So we got our 580, our ASRock B450M, we got our heat sink cleaned and ready to go, it's actually a decent one. We got our IO shield and our SATA cables here, our wireless antennas, we got a little thermal paste. And we have, dude, these are actually are heavy. They got some weight to them. Uh, these fans here, larger ones too, which I like. I think these are, what, 120 versus traditional like 80 millimeter ones. Uh, but those will work out nicely. So let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at our ASRock board. I'm gonna put down the uh, camera for one sec here. So I can go ahead and pull this out. A little hard to do one-handed. Okay, so here's what we're working with here. Uh, so the ASRock B450M uh, motherboard actually has a uh, AM4 uh, processor that we would look at here. So look at like the Ryzen 3s and things like that. So I'm gonna look at like a Ryzen 3 3100. I do need to check the ASRock uh, supported CPU list. We'll throw in, we'll find like four gigs of memory. Uh, and then we do have two PCI slots here uh, for this. So I do think, Mm -hmm. Here we go, perfect. So we got, yeah, we got these um, AAA Wave PCI E1 to 4 uh, splitters that we already had that uh, AAA Wave sent out to us. So where my head is at is we'll go ahead and install one in that PCI slot, install one in there. And then, uh, and then we can go ahead and get uh, a six, six uh, GPU rig. I don't think you can do, I think you could do a total of seven. If you do two cards, I think traditionally, but we'll test it, uh, not tonight, but we'll test it out. See if we can go ahead and do a total of uh, eight cards would be awesome, but I don't think we'll be able to pull that off. So let's put these back here for now. Okay, so um, on our test bench here, let's go ahead and take a look for our 580. 
uh, on our test bench, we do have a 570 in place. So let me go ahead and pull that out. We were mining Ergo on that. Uh, and let's get our 580 in place and power it up uh, for the very first time. I do have a uh, voltage meter here. This is the uh, kilowatt meter. If you guys are looking at, uh, for one of these, I'll put it in chat. Uh, we have it on watts right now. This setup without a GPU uses 20 watts, so we will subtract that off of our numbers, but let me get this plugged in and we'll power it up together for the first time. Okay, so we are plugged in uh, and all set. Something to notice is like, okay, so here's the MSI. Uh, this is the uh, Armor RX 580. It's a really cheap shroud with some fans and a little tiny heat sink here, okay? This is just a 570. But look at the difference when it comes to your heat sink. It goes the entire card as well as the shroud and setup. This is why you have such difference in pricing. Now granted, this is a Sapphire Nitro. I have a 580, I've done other videos on these that look identical. The amount of quality on something like a Sapphire Nitro is like at a 10 from a card quality hardware perspective. And then you have like these MSI armor cards and it literally reminds me of this scam card that i got remember we did a video on this scam card here i mean these are pretty much identical just a little bit difference in size <laughs> this scam card has a bigger heat sink on it than this 580 msi does it's just something to keep in mind when you guys are looking at these like even though you know that's a 580 and i got a boatload of other 580s i mean when i come over here all of those cards are 580s, significantly larger, significantly larger heat sinks. And uh, it's why I've always been a little hesitant to pick up an MSI, which is the quality of the card uh, is so much less. But hey, if this gives us 30 to 32 mega hash, I am not gonna complain. So let's get this powered on for the very first time. Let's get into Hive OS. We'll take a look at what it does stock. We'll take a look at what it does overclocked and then I'll get a, uh, we'll use the Polaris BIOS editor on it and uh, we'll see if we can achieve 30 or more uh, hash rate. And here we go. Okay, so popped up in HiveOS, which is awesome. Uh, right now you can see here, we have the MSI Radeon RX 580, eight gig running Samsung memory. So I went ahead and applied a flight sheet to this, nothing crazy, uh, just mining on uh, Hivon, and we're running Team Red Miner, nothing special there. So if we go ahead and look, our stock over our stock settings, we have nothing completely clean, and uh, we're mining at about 24.8, looks like uh, right now. So 24.8 mega hash starting out stock. Uh, now. If we take a look here, Hive OS says we're using 142 watts. If I take a look at our kilowatt voltage meter, it actually says 208. Um, so if we do 208 minus 20, because we know that's what the whole rest of the rig we uses with the motherboard and everything like that. So it's about 188. So Hive OS in this situation is 46 watts. Inaccurate. <laughs> so uh, that being said, Running this stock, and I've talked to a lot of you guys in in, uh, in my Discord about this, is not efficient. 24.8 mega hash at 188 watts is insanity. Do not do it. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, use the Polaris BIOS editor. And we're going to uh, do the, this has the one-click timing patch on it. If you guys want to know how to use this, I have an entire video step-by-step -step for my AMD Polaris uh, GPU users out there. I'm going to put a link in the upper left, right-hand corner, and I'm also going to put a link down below to this. I walk you through the entire thing. We won't get into it today, but let me go ahead and we will load in the BIOS, update it, and then uh, I'll show you guys. We'll upload it into HiveOS, and we'll see stock what we do coming from 24.8. Okay, so we went ahead and used the one-click BIOS editor. Uh, we have the edited one loaded in here, and we're going to go ahead and select the card for it, and we're going to do flash. We're going to upload it, and then I'll check back here in just a few seconds, and we will see uh, with just the simple uh, Polaris BIOS editor, the one-click, uh, are we doing better than 24.8?
as a stock baseline before we even get into overclock settings. Okay, so uh, after our Polaris BIOS one-click editor there, we are now have gone up quite significantly from 24.8. We're now up to 29, what, 7? 29.74, which is awesome. 29.74. Um, and look at our watts in Hive OS. It says we're at 119. Let's take a look at the wall. We're at 184. So just from updating the Pol Polaris BIOS editor, we've increased our hash rate significantly and we've decreased our watts without even putting overclock settings in, which is really good. So 180 minus our 20, we're at 160, uh, true at the wall for this card. So guess what? Now let's actually overclock the card now that we're literally on the cusp of hitting 30 mega hash and uh, see what we get. So give me a few minutes. I'm going to get some overclock settings in and we'll be back here shortly. Alrighty, guys, I'm not going to lie. It probably took me whew, 45 minutes maybe to get some decent overclock settings in here. Uh, this thing, it just kept crashing the miner. Uh, this card is super, super picky. It wants some very low setting so we're about 31 mega hash right now looks like that's what our last post was uh in hive shell there but as you guys can see like our core is 1145 our vdd is down to 835 and our memory is at 2080. this is very far from a lot of my other 580s that are 1200 core uh that are 2150 22 I mean, I think I got one around 23 for the memory. So this is definitely a far distance from there. These MSI cards like to run significantly lower. Granted, the hash rate's a little bit lower. Uh, you know, we're just on the cusp of 30, right around the 31 mark. Our last post here was 31. So that is a good victory, though. So at the end of the day, We've made a good choice. We are getting over 30 mega hash on this MSI 580. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and round out today's video. I'm super happy about this card. You have to remember I bought this MSI Armor RX 580 8 gig GT. We got little goodies here, the heat sink, which would be nice, some fans, nothing crazy, but the motherboard. So we got all of this for $300 total. So motherboard, we are gonna go ahead and repurpose. The fans, we'll see. The heat sink, we're gonna repurpose in there. So let's say we take 50 bucks off of the heat sink and that, you know, a heat sink with the motherboard. We got our RX 580 at 30 mega hash and higher for 250, let's say. Not too bad right now in the current market. Um, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to let this run overnight and then I'm going to go ahead and actually break this down and replace the thermal paste on it, replace the thermal pads on it, and I'm going to go ahead and throw it in my right now six, this will make seven 580 uh, hanging rack rig. It's actually this guy right over here. So right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Right now, 580s in this rig. We're gonna go ahead and bump that uh, and we'll take it up to a nice seven. We're running a RevTech board there. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. We got one more slot left. I'm gonna be on the hunt for another 580. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.